Hi, my name is uh, Eric Halfaker, and today we're going to be testing a cat food can turned into an alcohol stove. Um, the instructions for that are on Andrew Skirka's website, and I've provided a link down below. Um, it was real simple to build. All we did is took a little uh, can of cat food that we got from a local pet store, uh, punched about 32 holes in it, and then it's ready to go. You're also going to need a windscreen. The windscreen we made out of aluminum foil. Uh, it's real simple, real light. And the pot that we're going to be using today is the MSR Titan Kettle. And the test that we're going to be doing today is we're going to put two cups worth of water into this kettle and we're going to see how fast we can boil it. We're going to time it. We're also going to see how much fuel we have left over. When so again, we're going to be boiling two cups of water with one ounce of fuel. And the fuel that we're going to be using today is uh, heat. Uh, it's in the yellow bottle. Uh, we're not using the ISO heat, which is in the red bottle, uh, though I guess it would work also. Uh, but I read somewhere that ISO heat does not work as well as uh, the methyl heat. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, give this thing a try. Okay, so we're going to pour one ounce of fuel into the stove. And then we're going to light the stove with a match. And then we're going to give that about 20 seconds to warm up. And then we're going to place our MSR Titan kettle with two cups of water on top of it. And we start our stopwatch and put the windscreen up. Okay, so we're timing this boil and we're going to check back on it in a little bit. It's been just about three minutes and we're going to go ahead and check on that. Got some little bubbles forming down there. Looks like it's going to be happening pretty soon. Alrighty, we are at about uh, six minutes and 30 seconds, a little over, and we have got boiling water. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the stove off. And as you can see, uh, basically the second I took the pot off of there, the, the flame cut out. Um, no flame there, completely out of fuel. So one ounce, pretty well boiled, two cups of water, and it did it in about six and a half minutes. Okay, so we have the whole kit uh, in the, the pot here. And again, that's the uh, MSR Titan kettle. We have the cat food can, and we have our uh, windscreen in there. The whole kit weighs five and a quarter ounces. Um, the cat food can itself weighs half an ounce. And I am actually really, uh, really excited to get out and use this thing in the field this year. Um, we have not tested it. Uh, outside or on a camping trip yet on the count of it's still 30 degrees here in Alaska um, which is a little bit below the range that alcohol is good at. Uh, what I've been reading says that alcohol stoves are good above 40 degrees but they kind of suffer below. Um, we just built this thing today. Uh, you guys witnessed the first test of it and uh, we're real excited to use it later this summer. So that wraps up our test of the uh, cat food can alcohol stove, and thanks again to Andrew Skirka for posting the instructions on how to build this.